Hi friends, welcome to TimeNet CPOC lab training videos. Today we will see how we can use this file server resource manager, a role in Windows Server 2008 R2 to block specific file types in a folder or a drive. That means if you want to block people from adding music files or movies into a specific drive on your server, you can use this file server resource manager to do that kind of setting. So let's have a look at uh, the configuration part. Let's see how we can configure this setting. So let's see how we can block particular type of files inside this server. This is a 2008 R2 server and I have two drives here. Uh, let me just format this drive so that we can use that space for this demonstration. So we have two drives here and I am going to monitor this drive for the type of files that people put into this. So I don't want people to put mp3 files or exe files into this drive. For that uh, what we have to do is we have to install a role called file services into it. We can select the file services and click on next and make sure that you are selecting file service resource manager this is the role service which will allow us to monitor these kind of settings so we can click next and I can provide on which drive I want to monitor this I have selected drive E next if I want to receive reports by email I can select it but it needs an exchange server or an SMTP server configured so um, I am not going to uh, do that right now I click on next and click on install so this feature or this role service will help us to monitor the type of files that we add into a drive so I'll click on close and now I can go to administrative tools and file server resource manager and uh, here I have the option for file screening management so this is the setting that we will use to screen file types so we have file groups file templates and file screens file groups are actually uh, the type of files that we can include into the setting as default so uh, for example in audio files you can you have AAC mp3 or an most of the common types of audio files that you will you will the people will use and in backup they have dot bak dot bck dot bkf dot old this kind of backup files and you can see a lot of file groups like that in this list so if you want to create a new file group you can create it and for example i will create a new file type virus i know that some a particular virus has a has a as an extension called dot vir so i can add that kind of file into this file group see so now uh, if i go to file screen and create a file screen here i can add this kind of file group into it so that it will be blocked so we will try uh, creating a, fi a file screen. File screen templates are actually used for directly cr creating file screen from here. Uh, create a file screen from template. This means it will be created automatically when we click on this. We can specify in which folder inside that particular disk we want to uh, monitor this thing. So we will create a folder. Folder 1 in which I have blocking audio files I will click on create so if you go to file screen you you have a file screen now which is which says that uh, it will block audio files so let's see what happens I will go and uh, open the E drive and inside that we have folder 1 and I will just create a file with I will try I will just try to create a file with extension dot AAC see 
you need permission to perform this action this will not will not be possible so uh, what I'll do is uh, to sh just show you I will create the same file outside my folder that folder which has been monitored and I can create it easily but if I try to move it to the folder one it will not allow me okay so that file screening is there so even if this e drive or this folder is shared online people are trying to access it through or through through your lan then also people will not be able to add .asc file or any kind of extensions that are available in that particular uh, file group we added audio files and these are the type of files that will be available so these files will be blocked from that folder like that we can create another folder folder 2 and in the file screening we can directly create a file screen from the file screen option right click create file screen file screen path will provide folder 2 and uh, we will not create it from the file screen templates we will create it from the custom template we will click on custom properties active screening and we can create a new file group from here I will click on create and I will create a personal file group which includes the file types dot mp3 and dot avi and dot mp4 in it so this is the file group personal and it includes the file types dot avi dot mp3 and dot mp4 can click ok and uh, we have the personal group here now and after that I'll click ok click on create do I want to create a template from this file screen? No, I don't want. Click on OK. So a uh, new rule is created saying that in folder 2 personal the files that I have added into it, it will be blocked. So we can try that. We'll create a document with the extinction mp3 and try to save it there. It will not allow us so we can try it outside yes this is a mp3 file copy it try to paste it inside the folder too it will not allow us so this is how we can block specific file types inside folders i hope this was informative for you thank you for watching for more video and online trainings, please visit www.timenet.co.in and to know more about our real-time training facility, the CPOC Lab, please visit www.facebook.com slash CPOC Lab and thank you once again for watching.